Okay, so last time we study uh, annuity and we also take a small quiz in class and we also do the analysis of these questions and help you to understanding how to do the question for annuity and uh, for multiple cash flows. So today we will apply the annuity in the real life and to say some examples for the car finance. As you know, we are prepared to buy a new car. So if you want to buy a car, definitely you need to finance. And uh, most likely, for most consumers, we don't have enough cash to pay all the money for the car. We need to apply for a loan. So for a loan, you need to pay what? Pay the car finance. Car finance is a monthly payment. You need to pay back to the car dealer or financial company to clear your balance. So this is a invoice, a real invoice for the car I am planning to buy. So you can see from this uh, slide, we have a price for the car is already specified. That's the marginal MSRP, right? manufacturer selling price. But they are also including the other terms like the discount, tax, and the other phase. So what's the total price you need to buy is the 44,894.90 dollars. So that's the price you will apply forward for car finance. So this is called a loan values. This is for car finance amount. And because you apply for a loan, it's not for futures, it's one at a time you purchase the car. So this is not a future value, but it's a what? It's a present values. You borrowed this amount from the dealer or from the car financial companies. And this is the money you must to pay back monthly by monthly in the future to clear your debt. So this is the present values. The future values should be zero, means you pay all the debt, you pay all the loan amount. And our payment is not by a single payment, it's actually, you know, the equal payments made every month and for the multiple months. So it's a typical question for what? For annuity. When we study annuity, we know the definition of for annuities should be satisfied for two conditions. The first one, amount B should be what? Should be equal. And also the payments must be paid with same intervals. Same time intervals. For example, every month, every week, or every year. So you can see the below the car price we have uh, tables, right? This table is, is actually a matrix and you can see the columns how many months you will apply for the car finance and for the uh, this is a column right then this is a row for a row we also specify how much down payment you will pay in advance for this car finance contract so the first columns we have the $15,000 down payment and in the middle we have the $10,000 down payment and the last one is the $5,000 down payment. What's the down payment means? Means when you apply for a loan contract, you will make a one-time payment called a down payment. The remaining of the balance will be used for monthly payment as a car finance contract. So you can see here, right? Our original total values for the car finance is forty-four thousand eight hundred ninety-four dollars ninety cents. But we paid fifteen dollars down payment first. Remaining balance, that's the difference, will be what will be paid monthly use the car finance contract. And you can choose the package for the forty-eight months or city months. Or 36 months and 72 months. 
So for the eight months, it's a four-year contract, right? And then we have the five-year contract, six-year contract, and last one is the, um, you know, six years contract. So based on how long you want to pay the car finance, you can choose different package. And according to your, you know, credit score, and also your interest rate will be different. For example, for many car dealer, they offer some promotion for the 0% APR. Suppose you, you don't take any discount or any promotion, they will offer you maybe a 0% interest rate. But for most consumers, if you don't take the rebate or promotion, you will charge with a certain interest rate based on your credit score. So you can see this is the 3.99% and last one is 4.99%. So you can see the intersect with the months and interest rate will be how much you will pay for monthly payments. And we will choose a number in these tables right, to do the calculations to help you to clarify how to how to determine the monthly payments. For example, I choose the $507 in this cell for this table. So for these numbers, you can see for the row is 66 months. So it's, that's the how long you will apply for the car finance. And you can also see the intersect is for the $15,000 down payment. And last one, you can also see the interest rate for this number comes from the 3.99% annual percentage rate. So based on these three numbers we, we got from the table, we will try to solve this number and to check our valuation, our calculations will be consistent with the number in the tables here. This table comes from dealer. It's not I made by myself. So our purpose is to check, use our knowledge of annuity. We can also get the same number as the dealer get from the computer. So the first, you can see our present value comes from the remaining balance. $45,000, then we have the down payment, $15,000 down payment. So what's left? $45,000 minus $15,000, we have $30,000 left. That's the money you borrowed from the car finance company. So that's the credit you borrowed. So we have the present value. And this present value, you must pay back monthly in the future. For how many months? 36 months. So that's the number of the period. And after you pay all the balance, you should have zero balance left. So our future values should be cleared, should be zero. And we have the APR is already specified according to the position of the number in the table. It should be 3.99%. So you can see I also write down the APR is 399%. But this is for the annual rate. For the monthly rate, based on your payment frequency, you must divide by 12. So 3.99% divided by 12 will be 0.33%. That's the monthly interest rate. After you put all number down, then we can use the information we have to solve the monthly payment. So we use annuity functions, a payment, PMT. And in the bracket, you will specify the present value, future value, and also how many periods and what's the monthly rate. After you input all numbers in the bracket, and you can see our Excel turn out our monthly payment amount will be $507. So that's the number you see in the table comes from. So you can see the computer actually, you know, do the same job we are showing here, right, to solve the monthly payment. So I hope these examples, right, help you to understand how can we use Excel or use your financial calculator to solve the monthly payment for the car finance. 
it will be very helpful in the future if you want to buy a car and then you try to determine your monthly payment amount and this will be very useful so let's take a look for this uh, output again first you want to try to capture what's the car finance amount that's the total balance for the car you need to pay and minus a one-time payment down payment so that's the invoice value the invoice price minus the down payment is how much you were borrowed from the car financial company that will be the PV future value is always zero because you clear all the payments right? it's not free so of course right the creditors will charge every penny back so it will be zero and our rate be careful should be monthly rate based on your monthly payment should be the APR divided by 12 then our number of the period is also should be accordingly should be how many months so if you have the five year package for example should be five times 12 will be 60 months so be careful the interest rate and the number of the period should be always matched based on the payment frequency and after you specify these four input where right, you can always try to output the fifth will be the what the payment annuity right monthly payment amount use our functions so that's the questions we try to give you some examples right so we showcase how to solve it by right? use our annuity functions and I also leave our questions for you to practice in our homework assignment so in our homework assignment I try to help you to do a small case study so this case study is, is on the topic of what rebate compared with what low financing so when you go to a car dealer you try to apply for the car finance there are always two options available the first one is the direct cash rebate means you can get cash directly but if you choose this option you will charge with a what a reasonable interest rate based on your credit score the other one means you don't take any rebate instead you will offer with a what low interest rate sometimes even a zero percent interest rate so for these two options which one's better so that's a hot topic that many consumers try to figure out for example you can see here debating between a manufacturer's rebate and how interest rate will be auto financing will be more favorable to our car finance consumers and you must take a what consideration and uh, even do a small calculations use our knowledge of annuity to determine which one's better so for example I leave uh, examples by right, in your homework to determine which option is better one is the rebate one is a zero percent APR and this promotion comes from the Ford dealer and you know the Ford dealer is very popular in uh, every countries right especially for the truck and the Ford selling what F-150 that's the most popular model right, for the truck in the car dealer of the Ford and if for this invoice right you can see our price is 34,688 that's the invoice price for the car and we mentioned if you have a down payment then the difference will be the present values but in these questions we not given any down payment so this is the price you will apply for the car finance and based on the questions we also know how long for the financing package is five years so five years times 12 will be 16 months and you are offered two options either one you can only choose one option but not both the first one is direct cash rebate 
is twelve fifty dollars. You will get directly from the price you are charged. But if you choose these options, you will charge with three point eight percent interest rate based on your credit score. The second option is, you will not take any rebate, so you will not given twelve fifty dollars off from your price. Instead, you will offer with what zero percent annual percentage rate, and you can see I highlight there's no rebate in your questions. So which one's better? For most situations, right, if you never acknowledge with the annuity calculations, some people will be allured with what with the cash, right? So they will choose the rebate directly, but without think about what monthly payment. However, because we study what corporate finance and we know the time value of money, and we know our interest rate is compounding. So we can do some calculations to do the comparison. Then we can make a 